Good morning, greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today is, I think this is episode six of the vlogs, but today is not like a regular vlog vlog. Today we're gonna go thrifting. So I'm really excited. Last night we had a live sale, thir or Fridays and Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every week. They're super duper fun if you guys want to join. But today, Saturdays, I always just thrift the whole day to find stuff exclusively for the Saturday night live sale. So I'm really excited to take you guys with me. Hopefully we can find some really cool stuff. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale for my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's uh, let's go out thrifting. I'm really excited to bring you guys along, and hopefully I'll see you guys also. Um, oh, tonight. Well, when you guys see this, it's gonna be Sunday. But hopefully next Friday at the next live sale, I'll see you guys. All right, see you at the store. All right, we're at the Goodwill. This one is one on San Fernando Road in LA. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, sorry. Got the bags in the case. Let's see if there's anything cool here. There's a good amount of people in this store too. Why does this tag look fake? This is actually a fake coach. It's actually not a bad one too, but not real nonetheless. Is it Dooney and Burke? I think so. Oh, the handles are, I mean, not the worst. How much are they asking for it though? $25. Then we have Fly London? I didn't know they made bags. It's like a little crossbody. Oh, they have a ton of furniture right now. Look at that giant velvet tufted chair for the sofa. Looks pretty cool. What is this? It kind of looks Alexander Wang-ish, but it's not Sissy Rossi. You guys ever heard of this brand? I'm gonna look it up and see what that is. But I don't think I see anything else back here in the luggage backpack section. This looks like a Gucci plate. The flowers, Count Lennon, Lily, Annapurna. It's not Gucci though. <laughs> But it looks very much like these Gucci plates that I've been eyeing on the internet. $5.99. Bustin' Buffles? Bustin' Buffles? These are kinda cute, with like little animals. Ooh, these plates are kinda cool underneath here. Oh, I needed two hands to move them. 10 Strawberry Street. These are interesting down here too. Any other mugs or cups? This is pretty. Mm -hmm. David's tea. Anything on this side? Too. Ooh, butterflies. And there's this little convertible. How cute is that? That might be a vintage coach in there. Alright, next stop, we're at Crossroads in Griffith Park. Very. What's this? Kohan. Long jump, this one's 55. This is that neoprene one. Mom has this. I actually got it for her. Now I remember. I got it for her like a long time ago. Yeah. Alright you guys, didn't get anything at the other store but we're here at another one. This is down the street on Hollywood Boulevard. 
Sunset? Something? All right, let's go inside. Okay, I think I'm gonna get that Chanel. All right, Hermes scarf, it's so cute. And that Prada looks really cute too. I wonder how much it is. All right, I'm in the bag. I found this MD Wallace tote. $47.50 is pretty cute. So I think I'm gonna get that. But I don't really think I see anything else. I did find also this little long chomp, but I don't know, the top is kind of damaged, so yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking about the Airman scarf though. It's so stinking cute. All right, you guys, I got some goodies. Hey right, guys, we are now on Melrose. We're gonna go to Crossroads first. Afterwards, we're gonna go across the street to Wasteland over there. All right, Crossroads, let's go inside. All right. Let's see if we can find anything cool. Guess. Faux fur bag. What is this? Truffle? Is that Adidas? Dune. Zach Posen. This Kankin backpack. 28. Coach tote. Michael Kors. All right, on to Second Street. Also, I went to Waste and I didn't find anything. We got some cute wallets and sunglasses. All right, last stop, you guys. Crossroads on, what, in West Hollywood? Yeah, West Hollywood. All right, you guys, the handbag section was a bust. Let's check out behind the register. <laughs> All right, you guys are now live. You guys are gonna see yourselves in tomorrow's live um, vlog or tomorrow's vlog video. So everyone say hi to the vlog. Uh, we're gonna be announcing tonight's giveaway winner for this Hobo International Wallet on a Chain crossbody bag. Uh, let us get everything situated. Okay, so uh, I'm using a YouTube random comment picker right over here. I'm gonna enter the the URL for the video. We're gonna fetch the video right there. We're allowing duplicates. So let us see how many comments we have. Um, how many entries? It looks like we have. We always get way more entries on Saturdays than we do on Fridays. 851 comments. This is crazy. I think this might be one of the highest yet. So um, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Doo, 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 doo. Pamela Carson. Pamela Carson is our winner tonight. Pamela, I just I saw you just leave a little comment right there. Pamela, congratulations on winning our Hobo International wallet tonight. You, um, where are you? I, I just saw you leave a comment earlier, so I know you're in here. Pamela Carson, where are you? Pamela Carson, there you are. Pamela, congratulations on winning the wallet. And thank you guys all for being here again. You guys are, like, honestly the best. Hey guys! Okay, so I just finished um, with a live sale. It was so, so much fun. If you guys were in the live sale last night, comment down below. Say hi. Let me know that you guys were there. Thank you guys again for supporting me and it was so much fun. We, I, I think that was like one of our most fun lives. Like, I had a blast chatting with you guys and... You guys just make me laugh uncontrollably, and it's, it was just very, very fun. So, I had a blast. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, first of all, I got my authentication back for the Yellow Celine. So, this is authentic, so I'm very, very happy. And this bag is so gorgeous. It's my, this is the color that I've always wanted in a handbag. So, I did put it up for sale in the live sale, but I think I might actually keep it for myself because it is such a nice bag and I love Celine bags so much. And yeah, so I don't know. Like I said, might keep this one for myself. It's gorgeous or at least keep it for a little while or just start using it and see what happens. But yellow Celine, this is in, uh, I already showed you guys earlier or yesterday, so we're not going to talk about that anymore, but it was authentic, so I'm very happy, especially after for, uh, purchasing those other two items that were not authentic. It was good to find one that was. So very, very, very happy. Then, one of my dreams came true. I'm a crazy Starbucks person, especially... This only happens to me really 
during this holiday season. I, it's when my favorite cups come out. And I was lucky enough to find these two. I wanted them in the larger size, but these are still cute nonetheless. And I got a set of these guys. So I have the red one, and this is green. Look at how pretty these are. They're gorgeous and I don't know which one I like more they, this one looks like a ruby this one kind of looks like an emerald uh, for some reason in this lighting it's looking very blue but it's definitely green and these were $16.95 each so cool imagine if these were glass I was like oh my gosh if these are glass it would be uh, amazing but I love them still regardless and Crossing my fingers that I can find them in the larger size. Otherwise, I'm A-OK -okay still because these are still so, so cute. So these are definitely going to get added to the collection. And I'm very, very excited about it. So those are the two Starbucks cups that I found while we were out shopping today. I didn't film it because it was kind of spur of the moment. Just went in, saw them, got them, and then left. Then let me show you guys the bags that I ended up purchasing today uh let us start off with this uh christopher khan bag first this one is in a i think this is black a black leather i love this uh woven leather at the top flap it just reminds me of bottega it has a large back pocket it has a crossbody strap that is removable so you can use this as a large clutch if you wanted to then when you open up the top flap you're greeted with a front zipper pocket and then we have an accordion style interior the front interior boasts two open pockets the middle doesn't have any other compartments just a nice large opening and in the very back we have one zipper pocket so you can organize to your heart's desire in this bag it'll probably also fit like an iPad mini inside of it you can definitely fit your phone and all your essentials that you need with you and it's just a great practical beautiful handbag and this one was $14.99 so there is that guy let's put him behind there then up next, I uh, I got this really cute coach satchel. Now this one, I love the silhouette and style of this bag. I've found this one before in the larger sizes. I found one in a medium size and then one in the larger size that it comes in. One was brown and I forgot what the other one was. It might have been black as well. But this is in a great black pebbled leather. One of my favorite types of leather, actually. This one has three zipper compartments. Uh, the first one has two open pockets right there. The middle compartment is just an open pocket. And the back has um, a little the tag right there. And then another creed. And then this one was $32.50. This one also has a removable crossbody strap as well. So you can just use this as a little top handle bag if you wanted to. And it just has a little Coach New York stamp right there on the front. But isn't this such a cute little bag? I love the silhouette and style. So there's that. Then up next, um, I have this. Oh yeah. Okay. This one is a MZ Wallace mini tote bag and this is in the quilted nylon fabric. I actually have this in the larger version and I am so obsessed with it. It's one of my favorite tote bags and they are just so nice and easy to use. They're very carefree, they're super lightweight, they're super soft when you carry one. It's like carrying a hug. Like when you have this on your shoulder and you're just like, ah, it just feels so nice and soft. It's like a, it's like a, like a handbag support, like a, yeah, emotional support bag. <laughs> That's like what I'm thinking of. The interior um, has a zipper closure too, which is fantastic. And then it just has one interior zipper pocket on one side and then two open pockets on the other. And yeah, there we have our little MZ Wallace tote right there. 
Up next, I have this. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with this one. I love this bag. This is a Kate Spade crossbody flap bag. We have the gold hardware. I love these tassels right here. They are super duper fun. But my favorite part about this bag is right here. When you open up the little turn, the little lock right here, you have this surprise of the uh spade design right inside of there now, how cute is that right like you it kind of reminds me of the celine box bag how it kind of opens like this or even the lock for the celine trapeze it kind of is kind of very similar to this as well like the way like the mechanism kind of works but the interior looks like this it's literally brand new um, there's like the little product sticker right there. This is actually um, from the Madison Avenue collection from Kate Spade. And we have the little care booklet back there. It has all the original um, interior wrapping paper and all that goodness inside. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I am loving it. And it's just very chic. And it's like a classic silhouette, but it's like updated like with, with like the lock. I think that's just such a nice little touch it's i love it so there's that and that's in a navy blue beautiful color up next i have this gorgeous orange tory birch this is a tory birch crossbody envelope bag so we have the tory birch embroidered here the logo across the top it also has a very cool tory birch uh little charm right here i love that the leather piece goes all the way around. I feel like that's a really cool detail. The crossbody strap is also removable and you can also adjust it to become super short to be a shoulder strap which is nice. So you can remove it, crossbody it, or shoulder bag it. And then this bag actually opens like this. So there's the interior. It has a zipper pocket inside of there. There's two open pockets. And what you can also do is take that crossbody strap, attach it up here, and now you have a larger tote bag or larger bag which is fantastic it definitely expands your options for ways to carry it and i love that you can if you wanted a larger bag if you needed more space you can carry it like this and it just gives you so many options which i love so this is one of those bags that are super versatile day to night small to large it's fantastic and i just love the color of it look how vibrant it is Ah, uh, it's gorgeous. Look at that against like all the darker colored bags, so I think it's really, really pretty. Then up next, I have another Tory Burch bag. This one is so, so fun. And this is in a shearling. Uh, this is in brown suede, and then we have the shearling on the exterior. It just wraps around, um, kind of like the piping of the bag. Then we have the leather monogram, uh, leather Tory Burch little logo right there on the front there is a back magnetic pocket and then um this does also have a crossbody strap i just have it removed right here it's inside but you can use this bag as a clutch which i think is super duper fun and another interesting thing about this bag too is that it has two zipper um openings right here but they open into the same opening of the bag so you can um <laughs> open it from either zipper and still get into the main compartment. I love that the interior is the shearling. It's like so fun. It kind of reminds me of an, an Ugg shoe, but like in the best way. And this bag is also in like new condition. And it's just screaming fall and winter. And it's just really fun. And these like these these types of bags of style is like really popular right now too. So I was really happy to find this. This one was $65. Oh, the last but not least, this is one of my most exciting finds. I actually saw this in the store last week. I've been thinking about it. I literally almost went back um like the following Monday because I saw it on a Saturday. Did I see it on a Saturday? I saw it on a Saturday. I was gonna go back for it like on a Monday, but I was like, you know what, if it's still there when I go back, then it's fate and then I'm gonna get it. Lo and behold, it was still there, so it is in this little Hermes box. This is the first time I've ever purchased anything that came with an Hermes box, so I'm very, very excited. So it opens like this, it has a little Hermes 
um, logo on the, is it upside down? Emma's logo on the top of the box. When you open it up, here we have this beautiful scarf. It's a silk little scarf right here. It has the best print I've ever seen. It's literally all of my favorite things. It has a horse, which is a superhero, and I love horses and superheroes. And then there's uh, aliens, obsessed with aliens. And then it has the aliens abducting the presents, which are like Hermes boxes and all that stuff. And obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with everything about it. This is so, so cute. You can wear this kind of like a handkerchief or whatever. You can use this as a pocket square as well. You can use this as decor in your house you can frame it i actually kind of want to frame it but i kind of also want to use it um on my handbags like i was thinking how cute would this be on this little bag right here so um i thought we'd give it a little try and see how it looks i have no clue exactly how to um do something like this maybe oh maybe I should use the other side let's try this together I've never actually tied one of these around um, one of my bags before but I should probably like watch some videos for how to do this properly do 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 like play that music of like but look how cute that is look how fun it just brings so much color and a vibrancy to an already fun vibrant yellow bag but I love the way that the oranges and the blues um, play off of the yellow so I think that is super special I love it and I'll probably be keeping it like this I'll probably fix the bow a little bit but um, this one was the most expensive item that I purchased today which was at $300 but this scarf resells online for um, over 500 closer to 600 and I've seen it at 800 and all those ones have already sold um, so definitely a good investment and Hermes um, scarves are just so beautifully made if you ever have the time or would like to see you should definitely Google um, or YouTube it and you can watch the process of how Hermes makes their silk scarves and they the more colors they have in the scarf too the more work goes into it and this one has a ton of design and colors in it so very excited and very happy this is like the one Hermes scarf that I really really like I would love it in the larger size of course but to have it in the smaller size and being able to wear it like on my bags like this like for every day is fantastic because you can't wear like a large scarf like every day but this is definitely something every day though you can also frame the Hermes scarves and I think they look beautiful. I still haven't found an Hermes scarf yet at the like the regular thrift store but I can say that I've gotten one at least secondhand at a buy sell trade store. So that is going to be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, today has been a very long day. I have to edit my video now. I just did the live. What time is it? It is currently 1.11 a.m. And yes, it is time to edit the video and get this video up so I can go to sleep and thrift again in the morning. So hope you guys had fun tonight. Again, say hi. Um, let me know if you guys are new to the channel. If you are, welcome to the Thrift Squad. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I do post videos every single day and I host live sales every Friday and Saturday night. And... Oh, yeah, I'm doing two videos a day for the months of November and December. Thrifting videos go up every day at 7 a.m. The vlogs go up at 2. Um, and then the only exceptions are Friday, Saturdays, are going to be, no, Saturdays and Sundays where I just have one vlog video in the morning, which is technically still a thrifting video because that's all I do on Saturdays and Sundays. And then the vlog, or the lives go up at night, which is the second video so anyway that is it for tonight i'll see you guys on the next video um but till then arrivederci bon voyage sayonara and adios bye guys